I Shalom. I right, first and foremost, we'd like to get all praise and glory honor to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Wakakadash. I'd like to say double honors to my apostles, Great Millstone, and Rule Will. All right, and peace and salutation to the hopeful elect that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. All right, um, this is a um, this is a hundred percent GMS exhortation scripture of the day. All right, you know about you know how the Lord is gonna um, he's gonna he's gonna uh, have a long continuous covenant. You know what I'm saying with with Israel. You know what I'm saying after um, in the kingdom of heaven. Okay, so. And plus, we ain't going to never go off again. We ain't going to sin. None of that. All right? So, this is a future prophecy that I'm going to bring out. This is um, Hebrews 8 and 8. It says, For finding fault with them, he saith, means to blame. All right? Behold, the days come, said the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Okay? And let's go word, let's go up the word covenant. All right, it goes back to the Greek word diaphake, means to a disposition, arrangement. All right, any sort which one wishes to be valid, the last dis disposition which one makes his earthly possession. Because you know the Lord is gonna um he's gonna have a um a continuance, long, everlasting uh, um possession of Israel, man. He ain't, he's not going to turn his back ever on us, all right? So the Lord is going to make up, a, um, he's going to make a long covenant, a forever covenant with Israel in, uh, in, in the kingdom, all right? It says, I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel, and the house of Israel is the Latin tribes, and with the house of Judah, which is Benjamin, Levi, and, um, and Judah, all right? So... The, the Israel consists of uh, the land tribes, the northern kingdom, and the, and and the house of Judah consists of um you know, you know the so-called blacks, blacks, you know, saying the the Negroes, the uh, the Haitians, which is the Levites, Judah, which is which is Judah, which is the uh, so-called Negroes, the Levites is the Haitians, all right, and Benjamin is so-called Jamaicans, West Indies, all right, so that's the that's the house of Judah. And uh, in the house of Israel, that represents the, um, the Latin tribes, like the Dominicans, the Puerto Ricans, you know, so the Panamanians and so forth, and the Issacharites, Issachar, all right, so-called Mexicans, all right. Um, it say, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers. So our forefathers broke, broke the everlasting, broke the covenant with, uh, with Yahweh in the ancient world, man. All right, say not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers. All right, with their fathers, in the day when I took them by the hand. So, like, let me move this up real quick. When I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. So the Lord, you know, say He let He led us out. Of, he led our ancestors out of Egypt. Okay, as a whole, during the time of Pharaoh and Moses. All right. Because they continue not in my covenant, and I regard them not, saith the Lord. All right. So the Lord, you know, saying so Israel didn't didn't continue in um in Yahweh's covenant, man. But now, you know, saying we we gonna we gonna continue. Now we coming back in the fold. All right. It says, for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind okay so so we is not going to ever break the laws ever again we're going to follow the laws the 613 laws to the t all right we is not we're going to be perfect okay the lord is going to make us perfect in the kingdom i'm reading it again verse 10 it says for this is the covenant that i will make with the house of israel after those days <laughs> said the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind, okay? So that means we is not going to ever go off again, all right? It says, and be in wickedness, and write them in their hearts, which heart means your mind. Goes back to the Hebrew word lob, okay? And I will be to them a, a power, and they shall be to me a people. So the Lord is going to have an everlasting covenant in these, la in, in, 
after um you know after Yahweh had come back and destroyed this place, you know when um you know when Esau and the other nation get put in slavery, so forth. But in the kingdom of heaven, the Lord's gonna have an everlasting covenant with us, man. All right, so this is a future prophecy. I'll read this verse eleven. It says, "And they shall not teach every man his neighbor." All right, so we're not gonna go on the highways and byways. We ain't gonna put them no videos. You know what I'm saying? We're not gonna be you no know, studying, doing all that in the kingdom, cause we gonna know all things, man. We're just gonna be living it up. That's it. You know, we're gonna have the knowledge, the power. We're gonna have all that, man. We ain't gotta, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna be able to like teach. We ain't gonna be on the highway. How you gonna be on the highways and byways in the kingdom? Right now, we we pushing the word and truth of society right now to get out this raggedy ass kingdom that we in now. Okay. It say, and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, No, Lord, for all shall know me, for the least to the greatest. So they're going to know the Lord from the least to the greatest anyway, because the law is going to be put in their hearts, man, which they mind. All right. So it ain't going to be no going off in the kingdom. It's going to be very perfect. We're going to know. We're going to, hey, we're going to do all the high holy days. We're going to have the high holy days perfect. We're going to have the Shabbat perfect. Okay. You know, we're going to know, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna have it to the T, man. All right. It says, for I will be merciful to their, un to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities where I remember no more. So the Lord is not going to remember our sins anymore. So our sins going to be cast away. So it's going to be none but holy and righteousness in the kingdom, man. All right. So just to let you know, Hebrews 8 and 8, and I read it down to what? I read it down to uh 12. That's to let you know, you know, let y'all know that's watching this video, man, that uh, in the kingdom of heaven, we ain't going to ever go off again. We're going to be in our full angelic, angelic, angelic beam, angelic form. We're going to have full, full upscale wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. We is not going to ever go off again. And he's all that it, 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 after, after the destruction of this place and, you know, the saving of uh, the 144,000 and the saving of the multitude, one third. And then, you know, when <clears throat> when the kingdom being established, that's when, <laughs> hey, when is it not going to go off again, man? You know, this is a future prophecy. That's not, they ain't been implemented yet. So, so with that, man, I hope y'all was edified. You know what I'm saying? This is a 100% truth GMS exhortation to other day. You know, hope y'all was edified. Till next time, Shalom.